uh, from the Ministry of Education. I am the first one to admit we have challenges with supervision on the ground, our education officers, our quality assurance officers. There is room for improvement. And commencing next year, we will adopt a slightly higher gear in focusing on this. Where accountability is necessary, we will demand it. Where we feel we are not getting the services we should, we will act in the best interest of our children. We cannot go back on this. We cannot afford to make a mistake where it involves the lives of our children. So, good people. So, um, here are the results. And uh, I want you to listen to me very carefully. Uh, we... Uh, and I have asked to my colleagues from the Kenya National Examinations Council to make everything available uh, to you. The sense that um, it is critical that um, you get all the data from the examination results. Now, we had, of the 577 uh, or so candidates who wrote the exam, only 15.41% or 88,929 scored between A and C+, plus, which means we have to result. Uh, and that is about uh, 15 and state point four percent we had uh, a total of 141 straight A's. 4,645 A minuses. 10,975 um, B, sorry, B pluses. So in total, as I said, the students who scored between A and C plus are 88,929. If you compare that with last year, the 141 students who scored a straight A are fewer than some schools registered last year. There are schools that registered 202 straight A's. This year, they couldn't produce 10. And you know them. And you know them. Um, there are schools that uh, registered 196 straight A's. They couldn't actually produce 15 this year. Uh, we have been firm and clear in the one in which we have uh, examined and analyzed the results. You will see the results when they are uploaded completely, and you will see one thing. It is a true and credible reflection of who our children are and how they scored. Without leakage, without any help, without manipulation and massaging of the figures. I want to point out one thing, two schools. But uh, I need to point out, I will, the media will get the whole report and they will go down the report and see this. But uh, I want to single out, and my colleagues allowed me to do this, to single out two schools in the country. These two schools have stood out for one reason. Even last year and the years before, I was a Minister for Education, but my colleagues tell me that you could tell from the last two years that they always posted honest and credible results. And you know what? This year, you can see a consistent growth and a consistent improvement in their performance. Alliance Girls High School, for example, which um, has remained consistent in the number of um, high schools that they have posted. And you can tell from the analysis that they have always maintained credible results and credible performance. Kenya High School, for example, where you can see if last year they posted 20 A's, they are posting 21 A's this year, and you can see clearly it's a consistent 
uh, improvement. Some private schools posted 212 A's last year, and this year they cannot manage 20. One of those schools actually that posted 212 A's last year, this year they managed two A's on that point. And so I want you good people to understand this. And the result is going to be uploaded by the time I'm done with my remarks. You can send your index number to the short code, uh, 34252, get your results. You will notice one thing. It's up to us. You are the judge. There's a way we cannot live. And for those of you, particularly those of you from the further state, you need to investigate what we have been doing. How we have been producing students with A who cannot survive a university program. How our children have been getting out of schools with A's and they cannot complete one year in the university. And some of these children are coming forward and uh, now confessing. Oh, during my time we were woken up at 4 a.m. in the morning and shown the exam. And now I'm not able to proceed. I agree with Professor Magua. We cannot destroy our children themselves by lying to them and cheating to them and, and doing all those things that we know we have been doing. This year, there was no cheating. There was no monkey business. We have a clear, clean result. And it can now show you where we are as a country and where we should go. My parting words are this. We need to do more. In terms of gender, for example, our top of the top 20 students in the country, 16 are girls. The top 20 students. 16 are girls, only four are boys. Means there's something we need to do. We have spent so much time looking at these results. We have spent so much time looking at these results. We have analyzed them. I have instructed, and I would like to instruct uh, the, the NEC when we are here, that the report to the Teacher Service Committee